Yeah, you're welcome. I want to formally introduce, um, welcome you to this free telecom training with real. I'm sure that you're actually in this training in order to begin your um telecom journey. So that's why you're in the, you're watching this video now. Now this training is going to be a free. It's going to be a free one to guide you through the path of being a telecom vendor. Without wasting much time, let's get right into it. Now, um, there won't be a formal lecture without me introducing myself first. My name is Omoru Yurubika, popularly known as Real. I'm a telecom um, coach and data vendor. I was actually uh, a much, and I'm currently a data vendor. I was actually a data vendor before I became a telecom coach. Now, I have over three years experience in the telecom sector. Yes, I think I, I, I started this journey October 2018, and I formally became a telecom coach 2021. Yeah. So I help people leverage on the telecom sector and bring telecom to you with a different approach. That is, I, I, I portray to you that there, there, there's a lot of opportunities in the telecom sector. You aim to earn more in the tele telecom sector. Telecom sector is more than what you just hear outside. There is more to it when you put your all into it. Now, this is going to be our course outline for this um, training. Introduction to telecom. What does the telecom sector do on? What you need for this business? Where you can assess the service and how to navigate through this portal and lastly how to set up your price list now telecom business is a business of is a trade of buying and selling telecom services note telecom business is not a get rich quick scheme it's not a ponzi scheme it's not what you just enter today and you say you start making millions no every business requires dedication every business requires consistency likewise telecom business it's just the business of buying you get to buy service you get to purchase service and sell to your existing audience, to your potential or your existing audience. So the the, the reason why telecom um, telecoms um, business is considered to be lucrative is that its services is used on a daily basis. You tell me, you, 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 you agree with me that you have friends that use this data on a daily basis. You agree with me, you have friends that subscribe their Go TV on a daily basis. That woman in your street, she that you have a mobile phone, she uses data on it. That man on your street with an antenna outside, with uh, it got to be antenna outside, it subscribes his table, his cable every month. So you can see its product is used every day. So imagine you servicing only those on your street. You know how much you'll be making, not talk of those online. So that is how that is what telecom business entails. You literally buy and you sell. You sell out to your customer and to your existing customer. Now, there are so many things that the telecom sector deals on, but the primary thing and the basic thing is um products are the data the data which covers the mtn airtel glow and nine mobile yes and we have the same likewise the airtime as well and we have the cable subscription which covers go tv dstv and uh, star times now note the cable subscription can also be it's also a form of telecom service yes it's a, it's a telecom service and we have the electricity bill payment this can be divided to the prepaid and the postpaid the prepaid are those people that uses meter you understand? You, you know there are some people that use this meter. There are some that does not use this meter. Those that use this meter, they are called prepaid customers. Why those that don't use meter and want to subscribe, they are called postpaid customer. So I'm sure you have one or two people in your street that uses prepaid, that uses prepaid meter. You can as well go there and um tell them about your service that you do. You don't need to be ashamed. You don't need to be ashamed. You're the one that is making money from it. Now, what do you need for this business? You need a mobile phone. These are the basic thing you need for to be. You need a mobile phone because you actually need a mobile phone to actually carry out the services. You don't basically need a laptop. A laptop is not compulsory. You don't even need it. A mobile phone is enough. It's more than enough for you. You also need a strong network because when you don't have a strong network, you won't be able to assess, assess the services with what will be shared to you later on. You also need capital. So many people will ask, "Ma, how much will I use to start?" With as low as one thousand naira, you are good to go. Yes, with as low as 1,000 Naira, you can start. Even um, um, 2,000 2000 as well, you can also start. Yes, you don't need to start with 10,000 Naira. But if you have the 10,000 Naira, you can start with it. Why not? There are some people, there are some of my resellers that started with 10,000. There are some that started with 20,000. There are some with 5,000. There are some with 2,000. There are some with 1,000. In our advanced telecom training um, 
on Tuesday that we had um, on Tuesday, a, a, a person was giving his testimony that he started three months ago with 1,000 naira. And within that three months, he, his, 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 his revenue has, has, has even gone more than 100%. He was able to accumulate 100,000 naira profits within three months. So you can see starting with 1,000 naira, it's not a barrier. You can start with it and when you have the power to push it up, you you you, you create a lot of profit for yourself. Now, lastly, it's advert. There's no business that will not grow without adverts. You need adverts to grow. You don't need to be idle. You don't start, you don't think you start this business one and, and you will see that. No. Or you start today, you advertise to you advertise to your status today, leave it tomorrow. No. Everything in business requires consistency. Anything in life requires consistency. So you have to keep advertising. I remember when I started, I actually printed flyers. I actually typed flyers with my system and I printed it out. I printed it and then I shared to people in my street. Yes, I went as far as that. I'm not even talking about the online space. I'm talking about the offline space. There are a lot of things I did on the offline space. So you don't need to be ashamed of what you're doing. When you are ashamed to advertise, you won't grow. You won't grow in it. This is my third year in the telecom sector. And I've used money from this business to, to actually set up most of my own, own offline outlets. So you can see when if I had been I was ashamed of it from the initial stage, I wouldn't be where I am today. So you need to advertise. You need to advertise. At first, they won't patronize you. That's just the truth about it. Your friends won't patronize you. That is the truth about it. People won't patronize you at first, but your consistencies will give them the assurance that, oh, yeah, this person is actually serious with what he or she is doing. So lastly, you need advert for this business because that's actually the basic if you don't advertise if you don't tell people what you do there is no there is no way they are going to patronize you and when they see that you're not consistent is what you're doing there is no trust there will not be assurance there will not be trust that this person maybe she's just using it to while to while away time so this um four things are the basic thing you actually need for this business now um how do you assess the service most people will ask okay um how do i assess the service the thing is that you actually be buying from a porter now this quarter everything has been incorporated into this quarter yes the data the airtime the cable the airtime to cash they are all into this quarter and on this quarter we have two packages we have the free packages we have the free package and we have the top user package on this free package you can you can still purchase all of the services but it's more of like an an inner package but if you're doing it for business purposes it's advisable for you to upgrade to a top visa but if you don't have the 1000 to upgrade for it on a, uh, for a top visa package you can still be on the free package for the free package you get mtn for uh, one gig for 216 naira. for the top visa package you get mtn at one gig at 230 per gigabyte so you can see the difference is it's kind of it's kind of much but if you know if you know you have the money to upgrade why not it's a one-time payment you don't need to pay it monthly or yearly or renew it no once you pay the 1000 area your, your account get up your account get upgraded i had people that started with on the free package and weeks back weeks uh um, weeks interval they upgraded to the free part to the top user package but if you have the money to upgrade to the top user package why not you can as well upgrade to the top user package and enjoy the service but if you don't there is no need to pressurize yourself you can still sell sell well on the free um, um package now the portal is www.realtelecom.com.ng now this is actually the portal that you'll be getting it everything is actually incorporated in this portal now if, um going forward i'm going to show you how to navigate through this portal how to buy you buy service how to do everything from this portal so without wasting much time guys let's get right into it okay i'm still with you all i'm trying to share my screen Okay, I guess I'm on track. Now we're going to start with um, 
We are going to start with the registration process. We are going to start with the registration process. Now for um, beginner, if you want to sign in, I hope you can get my, you can see my screen. Now you need to sign up first. I'm actually going to be fast with this. Now you're going to input your first name. Let me use mine. Um, Omori. Sorry. My first name, Rebecca. My last name, Omori. My phone number, let me actually use 77. Now the username I want to use. Now this username can be your business name. Can be your business name or your personal. Let me use your, my business name, Real Telecom. My email address, Real Telecom. Sorry. Real telecoms at gmail.com. Now, password. Now, the password is case sensitive. You said, you see, there is minimum of six characters, minimum of one upper number, and minimum of one number. So, you have to follow it. You, your password needs to have a capital letter, a small letter, and numbers. Now, let me start with I. I started on, I've put inserted the capital letter. It's not going to show. Okay. Let me impute it again. Okay. And please note, your first name, your last name, there shouldn't be any punctuation mark like I think, like a dash. It should just um, it should just be your name. Even if you have two names and then I feel, remove the I feel because it won't validate. Now you go to create account. Okay, sorry. You need to put in the pin again. I click on create accounts. Thank you for signing up. You see, we have sent an email regarding your account status. You can see you have already signed up. So you have to go to your mail and verify your accounts. I think you're seeing my screen. Good. Okay, you can see it, right? Welcome to Real Telecom. You can see, click on this link to activate your account. You just click on it. You can see your account has been activated. You need to activate your account. Now let's proceed to signing. No, let's proceed to signing in now. Remember what you did initially was to sign up. Now let's proceed to signing in as gmail.com, right? That was what I, I used. Now my password. Okay. So you sign in. Good. Now, when you log into the portal, when you log into the portal, you see something like this. A notification message pops up. Kindly be informed that our hosting service is down. This um, message that pops up, like you've seen that this question is rotating around. Whenever you log in, please ensure that you read it because that's where update is given. Don't take it like, don't take it uh, for something, driver. Please always read it because that's the only way that um, uh, information is passed across. Now, for you to remove this, you just have to click outside. You know, this thing is inside the screen. You just have to click outside or tap outside the screen. It actually goes out, isn't it? Now, since, you are, since we are here, How to navigate through so we are still in the um, of navigating through right okay now since you're here the next thing you need to do is to fund your wallet isn't it now you've um you've registered you've logged in you've chose do you want to be on the free package or you want to upgrade to the top visa you can see this is called the standard package is the free package now this account is automatically is, is on the free package like if you want to now proceed to funding your account. You want to put money into it because 
you need to put money into it to carry out the service. And whatever money you put here, that is you can you, you can use it to perform all the services. You can use it to buy cable, to subscribe, to um, go TV. You can use it to do so many things, electricity payments, everything, as long as you have money in your wallet. Now, you click on the add money. You can see this account number that is here. This account number is your wallet account number. So whenever you send money into this account number, your wallet gets funded automatically. As long as there is network, your wallet gets funded automatically. Please don't give this account to any to your customer because the reason because when you are paying with the auto automated wallet funded, fifty you are being charged fifty naira. This fifty naira belongs to the automation we are using, which is Monify, which belongs to Wema Bank. So that is what they charge. So for every um, funding you make, you're going to be charged fifteen naira. So imagine you sending it to your customer to pay. You are selling one gig for 300 naira. Your customer sends 300 naira into you. get 250 naira into your wallet. So no, use your personal account for your customers. Then if you want to fund your wallet, you can make use of the Wema account. Now, you have this Wema account. What you just have to do is just to copy it. You can see. Copy it. You go to your um, USSD code or your banking app. Transfer into it. You can see it's, it's, it's written Wema. It's a Wema account. You transfer it to it. And when you finish transferring into it, your dashboard automatically gets funded can you see it it automatically gets funded now we are going to proceed in navigating through the first icon is your dashboard now this is your dashboard you can see let's just click it out now your transaction your transaction shows the transactions you've been doing on the portal the number of transactions you've been doing and it starts you so you can see this account, I actually deleted it from my end and I had to recreate it again because I want to use it for this training. But I've actually used it to perform transactions before. Had it been I haven't used, uh, used it before, you can you would have seen that it's empty. So this is the transactions I've performed. So if you want to check the transaction you have performed so far and the status, you can come to your transaction history as well. Now, the number two option is the select fund wallet now there are three ways we you can fund your wallet on this system number one we have the atm funding now for those people that 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 feels that you can use their atm to fund why not you can always fund now for the atm charges your your charge just two near two percent two percent of what you're using to fund your wallet that's what um the bank that's the flutter waves the mtm which is a flutter wave the ATM is of flutter where you can see it here charges you. So you just put in the amount to fund. Let's say you want to fund 200 naira, right? Make payments. You can see if you want to use your card, why not? You can see 200, but you're paying 200 and 4 naira because they charge for um they charge them 2 percent, which is 4 naira. If you want to perform transaction from like 1000 naira to um to five thousand or four thousand naira. I used to advise people to make it of ATM funding, but under this ATM funding, it's not a must that you use your ATM card. No, you can come down here to select on pay with bank transfer. You will still pay the two hundred and four naira. Let's click on it. Let's click on pay with bank transfer. You can see it. Pay with bank transfer. The same thing. You just come here to copy the account number. You copy the account number. After copying it, go to your app or your um, USSD and pay it. After you finish paying it, click on I have made this bank transfer. Then it will validate. If you haven't paid it, please don't click on it. If you haven't paid it, don't click on it because it will not validate. You understand what I'm trying to say? So that is it for the um, ATM funding. Now, the next is the automated, which I showed you at the initial stages. The add money where you pay into this Wema account and you are charged 15 naira. Now, lastly, the bank and cash deposit. Now, this one does not even carry any charges at all. But what this one entails is that you have to pay into this FCMB account. This FCMB account. After paying into the FCMB account, you message us here on WhatsApp. You can see this WhatsApp icon here. You will click on it and drop the proof of payment on the WhatsApp alongside with your email. Then we'll credit it, we'll credit your account manually. So that is how the um bank and cash deposit is. This one your bank won't on the website or the payments gateway won't charge you for anything. So it's totally free. Now the next is buy data bundles. 
Now, if you want to buy data bundle, let's say you want to buy, and we have many network, MTN, MTN SME, Glow Data, Airtel Data, Airtel CG, and Nine Mobile Data. So when we ask what's the difference between Airtel CG and Airtel Data, let's look at it. You can see Airtel CG is cheaper. This is Airtel CG. Let's look at Airtel Data. Airtel Data is more expensive. Now, the thing is that this the two data, they are the same thing. Just like we have SME data that is cheap. The Airtel CG, the Airtel CG data is an educational data that Airtel provides for educational purpose. But we as SME, we, we have the ability to also sell. That's why you see that it's cheap. There is no difference between it and normal data. Just like just that if you want to buy a higher volume of Airtel data, that is advisable for you to use the normal, the normal Airtel data. This that which is this is not is advisable for you to use it. And the the other difference is that the Airtel CG data doesn't work on TikTok. So if your customer is a TikToker, you have to tell them that okay, this one will work on tick on TikTok. So that's the basic difference of it. Now let's go with this MTN. Let's say you want to buy one gig. The mobile number. Please note this number mobile number you are inserting is the person that is the person that want to buy the data. The the person that already paid you the money. That is the person that you the person's number that you put into it. You ask your customer for the number that he or she wants the data into. That's the number you copy and place here. Then you will click on purchase. It's because of my wallet is not funded. That is why um that is why you're seeing um fund my wallet yeah you can see it right then you click on um purchase but since there is no money on this wallet i think for this um training purpose let me just um put in some money Okay, okay. I just put in some money now. Let's let's go again. Etia data. Let me put zero eight eight one zero five one five five eight one four. Okay, you can see. You click on purchase now. But since um at the moment I'm making this video, there's actually a downtime with MTN data. So this thing. There's a probability that it won't go through. If you also ask you to validate it, let's see. Okay, so there is a network, there's a network problem currently with me making this video. That's why it didn't go through. Now, likewise, Airtel data. Please, if you are selling Airtel data, if your customer is going Airtel, ensure they pay it. If not, Airtel is going to hold the data. The same thing goes for L network. Yeah, there's no need of you asking me how much are you buying. Your cost price is on the website. You can see. Glow data, likewise, your cost price is on the website, so you just have to go there and check. Now, we have the ATM, the airtime. These are the airtime for every MTN ATM you buy, you get two percent cash back. Cash back is the same as if you buy MTN 100 Nera, the system automatically gives you two Nera cash back, two Nera back. That two Nera becomes your profit. The same with Glow and it's a lot. The moment at which this video, the moment at which this video was made, the reason why there is no Airtel is that Airtel placed a ban on maximum airtime share per month. So that is why airtime Airtel is not here currently. Now, after putting, let's say, um, put my number zero eight one sorry zero eight one zero five one five five eight one four. Let's say I want to buy like hundred naira, then you purchase. I don't need airtime now, so I'm not purchasing. I have more than enough. So. You just purchase it and it goes through. Now the next is um buy share airtime. Now this function is not actually it's actually be eradicated from this website soon, from this portal soon, because it's the same thing as the airtel airtime. Now we have airtime to cash. Now the airtime to cash, so you convert airtime to cash. Yes, you click the network you want to convert. You put in the number that wants to that we send the airtime. There it let me say I'm I'm the one that wants to convert and I want to send it from my number. There it one zero five one five five eight one four. Reading it now the amount I want to sell. Immediately I put the amount I want to sell. Let me say I have ten thousand naira SS airtime that I want to sell. The system automatically tells you how much we are buying. Ten thousand naira. 
that is we are to be we are to pay you eight thousand five hundred. Now you that is buying from your customer, you have to tell them like eight thousand so that when we pay you eight five, you pay them eight thousand. Five hundred automatically becomes your profit. Someone is confused. Yeah, right. Good. I'll come again. Now, if you have customers that want to convert 10,000 euro, you came to the website and you placed the amount. The website told you that we are going to pay you 85 for the 10,000 euro at time you want to convert. Now, you want to tell your customer 85 because you want to make profit, right? Instead, you're going to tell your customer 8,000 to 8,400. If you tell your customer 8,000 euro, when, you, when we pay you 85, we, you get 500 euro profit. You pay your customer 8,000, isn't it? When you tell your customer 8, um, 82, when we pay you 8.5, we you pay your customer 8.2 and you gain 300 naira profit, isn't it? So that's how it works. It's likewise, every other network. Every other network is different. So always ensure that you come here to assess it. Now, you see Glow. Glow is um, 7,200 naira for 10,000 naira. So it varies. The price is not fixed. Then we have B payments. Now, the B payment is divided into B by electricity token. That's um, to subscribe NEPA. And okay, now these are the available. These are the available. Um, this thing. Let's go with JOS. I'm um, actually actually use JOS. Is I'm um, actually using a meter, a prepaid meter. Now I've imputed my number. Let me put my meter number zero one nine thousand and orders. Please give me a minute. So, okay, like I was saying, where did I stop? Sorry. Okay, let's see. Zero one five thousand. This is the meter number. Your customer literally gives you um the is your meter number. And please ensure that they provide you with the name. Ensure they provide you the name on the meter. Let's say they are buying one thousand euro to key, isn't it? Ensure they provide you with the name because that is the name that you use to validate if the meter is actually right. Now, the system automatically validates it. You can see it. It validates the name on the meter. Now, you confirm from your customer if that is actually correct. If that is actually correct. Now, when they give you a guy, okay, yes, it's correct, then you can purchase it. If I purchase this, now it's not going to go because I'm not having enough money on my wallet. Let's see. You can see sufficient balance. So that is it on meter. The same thing if you want to subscribe for any other state. But the only state that we don't have on this, uh, have the license to is Enugu Electricity Distribution and Benin Electricity Distribution. Every other, um, every other um, state, they are here. Now, the next is the cable. Okay, before I forget or before I go further, someone will ask me, okay, how do I not make profit on um, this... Um, um b payments if your customer if your customer gives you if your customer gives you uh want to subscribe the meter of 1000 naira you charge them extra 100 naira you charge them extra 100 naira that 100 naira you charge them is, um, is service charge it's charge service charge you know we, we are not charging you this is zero charges apply but you you charge your customer extra, extra 100 naira which automatically becomes your service charge so that's the way you make profit on it now this is for cable the cable includes them go tv and all that now let's say i want to do go tv i want to do go tv super let me put um let me put an iuc number Travis looking for an iuc number okay Seven five two seven five two eight six 
please, if you are subscribing Go TV or you are subscribing Cable Electricity, ensure you ask for the customer's name in order for you to validate. Oh, no. Invalid is this supposed to be my okay? This is not complete. You see, it's going to tell you invalid because it's not complete. Good. Now you can see it validated the decoder information. Remember on meter, it validated the meter information. Ask your customer, is it the name on the meter? When they say yes, then you proceed to purchase. It won't go because I don't have enough um balance on this. Now that's just the basic, that's the basic um the basic um, um services on this portal. And I guess that is the basic service that people often ask for. Imagine you're subscribing 10 decoder in a month. At the end of a month, 10 decoders on your offline space. That's a thousand error profits, just like that. Now that is just it on it on navigation, navigating through the website. The next is how to set up my price list. Now, this is actually one of the challenges so many people face in the online space. You see someone um price list which is so tattered is not even well organized it's not orderly and all that but most importantly you have to know that whatever prices you're getting on the website are your cost prices now for you to maximize profit in any business your selling price needs to be more than your cost price now for prices they need to be uniformity in prices now i'm, I'm only give, i'm only going to use um, mtn as an illustration here now imagine you are selling your selling mtn one gig at 300 naira now you're making use of the principle one gig at 100 as 300 naira, right? It should be noted that um uh, now let's look at this um, price this price. You can see this price. You can see this price. Um two one gig at 300 naira, two gig at 650, three gig at 1000 naira, four gig at one four. This price is not actually orderly. This um this the person that might actually that might actually use this price and um, this. I will say he or she doesn't know that there is more to there is more to um data business than um just you just creating price. One way for you to make profit in data business or make it big in data business is if you know how to if you know how to um maximize your profits. Yes, if you know how to maximize your profits, you'll make it big time in a data business. Now, if your one gig is um 300 naira. Hence, your 2 gig ought to be calculated as well. 2 gig times 300 naira, which is 600 naira, which is 600 naira, right? Now, since you're selling, um, uh, since you're selling, um, 2 gig at 600 naira, your 3 gig ought to be what? 600 naira, 600 naira times, um, sorry for the distraction. I'm being distracted. If you're, if you're selling 1 gig for 300 naira, 2 gig should be 200. 2 gig times 300 naira, that's cost for 1 gig, which is 600 naira. Your 3 gig should be 3 times 300 naira, which is cost for 1 gig, which is 900 naira. So you can see, it needs to follow an orderly pattern. It needs to be follow an orderly pattern. Let's see. Let's see. Um, so we got... If you're selling one gig at 300 naira, your two gig ought to be 600, your three gig ought to be 900, your five gig ought to be five, one five. Like that, like that. When you look at this price list, even if this customer is, even if this customer is buying cheaper, he or she is still making profits. Yes. One thing you need to realize is that um, we have different audience. There are some of, there are some resellers I got today that they are still selling one gig at 350. And they are selling big time. So, so you shouldn't feel you shouldn't feel competitive as in you shouldn't feel you're in, in, in a competitive race fine the business is actually competitive but you should also know that there are more data users than data sellers we have over 190 million internet users as of 2020 2020 not to talk of today 2022 so you can see we have a lot of audiences what you consider what you consider um what this one consider expensive might be so cheap for the other person so another thing is that your prices should be shouldn't look too shouldn't look too cheap. It shouldn't look too cheap. You understand what I'm trying to say? Your prices shouldn't look too cheap. So the same thing goes with um nine mobile. Nine mobile also need to be critically priced, listed, and all that. I'm going to be sharing with you. Let me share with you some 
price list of few of my um data resellers Okay. Okay, we have this. This is one of the this is one list of one of my resellers Okay, you can see it. You can see it. This is um, a data price. You can see MTN 1 gig. MTN 1 gig 300, 2 gig 600. You can see 10 gig 3000. It followed an other pattern. Another pattern. I think this of my, this Michelle has actually attended my advanced training. Yeah, she has attended my advanced training. Let me show you another one. Let me show you another. You can see this as well. You can see this as well. You can see how orderly the prices are. You can see how orderly they are. So your prices need to be need to be so need to be very very orderly. Need to be so orderly. So that is one thing you need to know in this business. Your prices need to be orderly. You need to you need to you need to create your price prices in a way that you are going to you are going to um maximize profit you're going to maximize profit from it now we also have an advanced telecom training this advanced telecom training helps you to top up your advanced your telecom game now it's not compulsory if you know you want to um, top up your game you can decide to partake in this training now this is this is the outline for the training Now, this is the outline for our advanced telecom training. And uh, we're actually having the net. Currently, we are running a September batch, and the next batch will be by November. Now, these are the course outline, and there are lots more. Introduction to telecom. Why should you start a data reselling business? What is data reselling? What is a data reselling company? What is an affiliate data reselling company? Why do I need to start up a telecom business? How do I become a data reseller? How do I create my data price list and maximize profit? This is going to be taught in detail. The, the one I just taught, I just taught you on M10, but this is going to be taught in detail. How do I calculate my profit as a data reseller? The concept of each data network, each of the data network you, 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 you're seeing on the portal, each of them have their various concepts and it's going to be taught in this advanced training, how to close deal perfectly as a data vendor, who are my target audience? the platforms to assess more customer and promote my business, how to create content on this platform. You'll be taught that the challenges you'll face in data business and what are the ways that you can overcome it. You'll also be taught that. Now, lastly, how, how do you, how do I succeed as a telecom vendor? There are so many challenges in the data business. There are some people, most people that have known that they've dropped out from this data business and there are some that I know that they didn't drop out and they are doing amazingly well. So I'm going to share my secret on this advanced training as well. Now, the bonus courses is how do I own my VTU, my VTU or telecom website? There are so many people that are eager to know this. I'm going to, this is also going to be taught. This is always taught in our advanced telecom training. And I'm also going to teach how I generated over 40 million sales in six months as a data vendor.
Yes, all these are all going to be taught. All these are going to be taught during this training. During this training, it's all going to be taught during this training, during the advanced telecom training. Now, if you feel that you are interested in this telecom training, in this advanced telecom training, why not? You can be a part of the next badge. Now, thank you for allowing me to put you through the space. And I hope uh, you understand every little thing that I've been explained. However, if you have questions, you can always come to my DM or send directly to my number, 0810515814. I come again, 0810515814. Thank you once again and enjoy the rest of your day.